Hello, this is Catherine from Accelerated Reader. Today, I will be reading Babaru, The Alien Learns About Hygiene by Kate Melton, illustrated by Ira Bykowska. Before I begin reading, I would like to give a big thanks to the author for sending me this book to read on my channel. In the description below, I have included links where you may find and purchase this book. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Dear friend, this is the third book about Babaru, a little alien who visits Earth and learns the rules and values of our life here. In the first book, Babaru learned about healthy food, junk food, and healthy eating. In the second book, our little monster learned about bullying, confidence, and how to deal with bullies. In the third book, Babaru will learn about the hygiene rules everyone needs to follow to stay healthy. Hope you like it. It's a hot day on the yellow planet. Whew, it's too hot, says Babaru. I wish I could be in the chilly forest with my new friends. Whoosh! Babaru goes to planet Earth again. But the landing is rough and Babaru loses control of his space tricycle. No! He shouts. Not there! Bang! Babaru falls right into a dirty puddle. The loud noise of this crash landing makes forest animals rush to the lawn. Who's that scary beast? shouts the rabbit fearfully. Hmm, I think I've seen him somewhere before, says the fox. This is Babaru, the alien, exclaims the hedgehog in delight. You're so dirty, says the skunk. You smell worse than I do. You should tidy yourself up. We can play when you're done. The raccoon points to a sink on a tree near the river. Babaru approaches the sink and sees a bottle of liquid soap, a tube of toothpaste, a comb, and a shower puff. How will I use all this? He wonders aloud. Babaru takes the puff and hangs it around his neck. Yay, such a cool necklace. A tiny butterfly is sitting on a flower watching Babaru's attempts to clean up. Such a funny alien, she says, giggling. Babaru takes the comb and spins it. What's this thing for? Bingo! I can use it to clean my tricycle. He simply has no clue what he's doing, whispers the butterfly. Babaru picks up the tube of toothpaste and squeezes it right into his mouth. Ah! shouts Babaru. My mouth is icy cold. I need something to drink after that. He takes the liquid soap and drinks the entire bottle. No! 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 screams the butterfly. That's a huge mistake. That's something to never try. Glug, glug, glug. Hundreds of soap bubbles start pouring from Babaru's mouth and ears. Upset and still dirty, Babaru sits down. Oops. I don't understand anything, he says with tears in his eyes. Why is everything so difficult on this planet? 
the butterfly flies over to sit on Babaru's shoulder. Don't be so sad, she says. Let me help you. Hygiene rules are simple. The butterfly declares, if you follow them, you will be healthy and clean. Diseases will steer clear of you, and your friends will be happy to play with you. Just try to memorize these rules. Babaru approaches the sink again. What you just drank is called soap, the butterfly explains. Soap is used for washing hands. It's important to wash your hands as often as possible, especially before eating or after playing outside. This stops microbes and viruses from spreading and keeps you from getting sick. To make sure you're washing your hands properly, count from 1 to 20 while you wash. Babaru washes his hands carefully. It smells way better than it tastes, he says. 18, 19, 20. My hands are super duper clean now. Great, says the butterfly. Now look, this is definitely not a necklace. She helps Babaru take the shower puff off his neck. It's a shower puff. Use it to wash your body with soap, shampoo, and body wash. The butterfly gives Babaru a tiny tub of body wash and he starts rubbing his back. I feel so clean now. The butterfly smiles and this is toothpaste, she explains. Use it to brush your teeth to keep your teeth healthy and white. You need to brush them at least twice a day with your own toothbrush. Babaru gets a new toothbrush and brushes his teeth. Wow, he yells, smiling wide. My teeth have never shown so bright. Now that you're clean, it's time to comb your fur, the butterfly tells him. If you don't comb your fur every day, it will get tangled, and detangling it will hurt. If you use your comb every day, you'll look amazing. Babaru carefully combs his fur, and the butterfly gives him a beautiful floral wreath. In the meantime, his friends come by. Babaru, you look amazing now, they say. And you smell great too, adds the skunk. Really? asks Babaru. He looks at his reflection in the river. My mom has to see me like this. Thanks so much, friends. I'll see you again soon. Babaru gets on his tricycle and flies back home to the yellow planet. Today, he learned an important lesson. Cleanliness is important for good health and good relationships with others. The end. Thank you for listening. Don't forget to like and subscribe. In the description below, I have included links where you may find and purchase this book.